Good morning, everybody. My name is Seb. This is the Cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam in my lovely, comfy, multiple mattress bed. This is awesome. I'm editing the video up here. I've just been kind of in this position. Whoa! The editing position since about five o'clock this morning, really. With the flappy wind, it's been a bit flappy and windy, and, but it looks amazing outside. Let me show you outside, actually. All right. Boom. Look at that. Not bad. I'm going to get back in bed to finish the video. Otherwise, if I go off running off, I won't ever get it finished. It's just a constant battle with editing the video, doing the running, doing the eating, doing the sleeping, doing the running, doing the editing. Run, eat, edit, sleep, run, eat, edit, sleep, run, eat, edit, sleep. Oh, it might just be the age of it. Yeah, it might be, oh, and, no. and they won't sprout if there's not another female or male plant around. If oh yeah. The opposite sex to pollinate it. It needs to be pollinated to produce fruit. Yeah, it but once it's been sex. pollinated, maybe we should move that other one near it. I think they're both females, honestly. Well, remember, they can change. No, they don't change, friend. Cheers! Good morning, everybody! This is a huge papaya smoothie with a lettuce and a beautiful view. Got a desert ahead of me today. I think we're gonna jump off a cliff first <laughs> and then run to a volcano. Sounds like a pretty mad day. Da, 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 da. And we're off. Thank you for a nice night in Hotel Shack Volcano. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> it was lovely. The Ocean View Shack, that's what we call it. Yeah. Ocean View Shack. What is it, a eucalyptus tree? Yeah, eucalyptus, also rainbow. Painted. Amazing. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Rainbow trees. A whole bunch of them. You can actually jump in there from here. Yeah, that yeah, looks... That looks sketchy to jump into. I would jump in there. Oh, come on. No, man. Look at it. Look at the wave. Yeah, you gotta it's do it. Current. It's just it. the current. Look I at it. it. I did it once. It's going up and down. Yeah, Whoa, up. no yeah. way. You're supposed to jump in when it comes up, like right now. You jump, and then it'll take you out with it. Oh, that sounds great. You wanna see me do it? Sure. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What, you go out and then go out to sea? Yeah, you go out to the water. Sounds like a terrible idea. Sketchy. Hey, the ladder's broken. It is? Oh, he sure is. Oh, what? That's a bit late to realize now. The ladder's broken, you realize that now. Oh, 
what? That's cool. Man. Yeah, it's a good day. Why not be the fastest person running around Hawaii? I'm trying to be the funnest. <laughs> nice. Egg fruit. We got the egg fruit. <laughs> you just gonna bite into it? I don't what? know. I'm just wondering. I just wanted to film trying it. Yeah. Do you want to try a bit? Everybody, uh, everybody, no, try I'm a good, bit. I'm good. You don't want to try it? Oh, it's sweet. Is it? It looks just like a yam. It looks. Yeah. It looks like a sweet potato. Oh, it's super sweet. Yeah. Oh. A sweet potato. Yeah. Yeah. You want to try it? Is that something hard in there? Is that a seed? Uh. I yeah. There yeah, is. Yeah. There's a seed in there. Oh, it's good. I don't know why they call it egg fruit then. Maybe because it's just it looks shape. like a yellow egg, Can the yolk of an egg. Oh, that's know. nice. Tastes like a sweet yam. And yeah, I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's close to a sweet potato, mm -hmm. kind of mixed with maybe a mango. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, mango for sure. Why is it called egg fruit? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what I was I'm wondering. thinking because it looks like a yellow yolk on the inside. It does look like an egg texture, maybe. It's got a kind of ch chalky boil. sweet potato kind of texture yeah. to it. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that's that's the weird little seed. You want to just do a little, little piece? Yeah, she wants yeah. some now. A little. That's, that's good. Seed. That was that's a pleasant seed. surprise. Yeah. I don't want the skin. I was afraid it was going to taste like an egg. <laughs> it smells weird. No, it's not. It's gum. It's nice. No, it smells weird. The eye candy won't eat the fruit candy. <laughs> right, I'm going to run into Volcano now. Not into the volcano, like the lava, but the town. The town of Volcano. <laughs> I did not like it. Mm. Well, she didn't like it. Oh, it hit a hard do thing. Do you think the cat would like it? I do not like it. It's a little bit of a fermented taste. Yeah, it's like a I an like old it. cooked sweet potato. <laughs> Peanut butter banana. I'm saying it's my favorite Cliff Bar. This is his favorite. We don't like Cliff. We're not a big fan of Cliff Bars. But this one is different. He's saying this one's better. Peanut butter and banana and chocolate. Those are three amazing things. All right. He's I'll right. It's it. good, isn't it? It. it is good. It is a good yeah, one. Most of them are like dry and they just yeah. don't have a lot of flavor. That no, one... they're boring. That's my only one that I love now. I'm like, yeah, it's the one, best. That one is good. It's not hard. Yeah. All right. It's a good one. See you guys. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Hey, boom. Nice to meet you. Bye. Boom. See you later. Bye. <laughs> you can hear Kaya going, ah! That was great. I enjoyed that meeting. Great friends. Great, great vibes. So, I'm running through a desert to a volcano, like I said. I did say that this morning. We're going to be jumping off a cliff, running through a desert to a volcano. <laughs> Here we go. All righty then. From what I understand from Brent and Kaya, there's no water up ahead. So I've got a litre and a half there, and then basically another litre divided between these. It's 500 mil in each pocket. So, 
that's going to go pretty quick. And then I've got the backpack for spare supplies. I asked Brent and Kaya what's up ahead. Is there not any houses? You know, I could refill my water. They're like, nope. There's no shops, gas station, nope. There's just nothing, nothingness. Until I get to this town volcano, I drank a liter and a half of water. I just glug, 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 glug. <coughs> Left the trash with Brent and Kaya. <laughs> but that means I got a liter and a half of water in my belly. So I'm prehydrated plus I'm carrying a couple liters, two and a half. We should be good. It's just heavy right now. It just feels like a uh, struggle. Look at all the cloud cover. This is perfect. I'm so happy about this. We were kind of debating this morning, like, should we even do the cliff jump? Maybe I need to get out there early, like six, seven, eight in the morning to avoid the sun. But we got some cloud cover. According to Rally Medical Group, oh, over time, these small amounts of exposure add up and can <laughs> Thank increase you, Google. during the early morning before 10 okay, a.m. or enough. early evening after 5 p.m. Okay, Google. What's the weather now, here, now? Currently in Pahala, it's 28 degrees and mostly sunny. <laughs> Today, there will be showers, with a forecasted Ooh. high of 29 and a low of 18. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. But it's a blessing that it's cloudy. And I'm still carrying all this extra water weight. It's like, ah. What goes up must come down. So I should get a downhill at some point. I don't know when that'll happen. Maybe the other side of the volcano. Cup I out silently and All my destinations will accept the one that's me So I can breathe Circles that grow and they swallow people whole Half their lives they say goodnight to wives they'll never know Got a mind full of questions and a teacher in my soul And so it goes Or I'll have to go Only me like gravity Are places that pull If ever there was someone To keep me at home It would be you Everyone I come across In cages they bought They think of me and my wandering But I never what they thought Got my indignation But I'm pure in all my thoughts I'm alive Wind in my hair I feel part of everywhere Underneath my being Is a road that disappears Late at night I hear the trees They're singing with the dead I find a way to be Consider me a satellite Forever overtain I knew all the rules But the rules did not know me Guaranteed
five miles from Volcano. It's just a constant uphill struggle. So I've been going pretty slow. Running, walking, running, walking. It's like, it's painful to go this slow and the slope is so gentle, you can barely notice it. But you do notice it when you try and run wearing a 30 pound belt. It's like, ah, the day is almost over. You know what I mean? It's gonna go dark. And I really need to get to Volcano to get some food before everything shuts. I'm relying on restaurants and cafes. I don't know what time they close, but not long after dark, I'm guessing. Pretty nice I've got the place for myself though. There's not really many cars out here. bad news the bad news is my phone is saying wet wet can't charge I got 7% battery so on that last little bit of battery I can see it's three miles to get to the Thai restaurant that closes in a few hours so I'm gonna make it but I need to use my maps but I haven't got much battery so airplane mode brightness down hope for the best Real good news is, way, I'm running downhill. It seems like we hit the, the peak. I don't know for sure, but I'm just coasting down, making it a lot easier when I'm already exhausted and legs are tired, no more water left. I've eaten everything. What better time to have three miles of downhill it just seems so much easier compared to the uphill I've been doing all day. So I'm quite enjoying this final kind of heroic victory lap or whatever you want to call it. The final home straight thinking of rice and pad thai, thai restaurant, eat all the rice. Hi, <laughs> I don't know what this little, it's like a little tourist shed, but there's no one in here. So it's raining, I just came in to get out the rain, but there's loads of PowerPoints. I think we'll go for In Melons We Trust for dinner. The Thai place is right here. Put on a slightly smarter shirt and eat all the rice. Oh, I put my arm through the head hole. There's a massive storm coming. Like people have been telling me in the street, look out. You need to get out of the rain for like three days. It's just going to be um, a tropical, torrential downpour. Find shelter. You can't even stay in your hammock. It's perfect timing because I already planned on Airbnb up ahead. We should have a look at this map actually, see how far I've gone. I landed at the airport up here somewhere. We ran to Kona on the first day and ate at the herbivore vegan place. Then ran to Captain Cook. Then ran from Captain Cook to Ocean View, which is down here somewhere. I can't see it. And now I've run round to Volcano up here. This is where I am now. You are here. As far as running round the island, I've run you know that much of it a third of it my goal is to get nearer to Hilo and my Airbnb is somewhere around here I'm gonna kind of cut this corner because there isn't a way through these roads don't connect so I can't go round I have to kind of cut across 
and uh, we're going to rest there. So my goal is to get there, you know, from here to there tomorrow morning. I need to do that early. The rain starts in the afternoon from what I can see on the weather report. So let's not waste too much time editing videos. I'm not going to upload anything. I'm just going to run, run, run from like 5 or 6 a.m. Just go for it. I can edit once I get there to the Airbnb. Yeah, this is cool. Information center open. It says it's open till 7. All right. Oh, well, this kind of ruins my plans. I thought I could eat in here. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, so these prices were pretty painful. I'm having to pay 15 bucks for the pad thai, 15 bucks for the rice. I don't have a lot of choice. There's not even a shop. There's no supermarket. It's just restaurant or cafe. And I can't even eat inside. And it's raining out here. So I'm currently just thinking until someone tells me, hey, what are you doing in there? I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna use it like my restaurant and sit down <laughs> in the dry. Very happily sit at this table, thank you very much. Try not to be too obvious. I mean, I'm pretty well lit, but I don't wanna to draw too much attention. 7 p.m. now. Oh, I feel like if I sit here, no one can really see me. Maybe the bell should just go a bit more out of the way. To here, like this. Okay, so there's some good news with the wet phone. It is powering up with a different cable. The red cable seems to be wet. Let me see how far is it to the Airbnb. Okay, here we go. Directions, 18 miles. Yes, that's not far at all. I can do 18 miles in the morning. I'll be there by lunchtime. Couldn't you make the videos five minutes? And I'm like, yeah, I could. And then I have to think up five different thumbnails, five new titles, all the video descriptions. Like it just so happens that roughly a day seems to, you know, work out at about a 20, 25 minute episode every day. So that's what naturally happens. So that's how long the video is. Deal with it. You know what I mean? But some people are like, oh, I don't want to click on it though. I only want to click on a video that's three minutes. So I'm like, well, go to Instagram then. <laughs> yes. Look at that. The usual pad thai and tons of rice. Behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cows. <laughs> You're the butt. You're the space that the poop comes out. <laughs> and all the time these thoughts show up in your head and you do all you can to try to push them out or try to keep them in, which would be like going to the toilet and trying to push your poop out or keep your poop in. And it's time for you to take your first emotional poop and sit on that couch and wait. And trust me, the poop will come. It's been trying to come out like crazy. Your emotions have always been showing up and going, hey, I feel this way. 